This is a season on the earth that is unlike any other that we've experienced. You know, in the Bible, they were the sons of Issachar, and they knew their times and their seasons. They could sense what the wind, the direction that the wind was blowing in, and so that they would position their lives to catch the wind. And we're in a season right now where awakening is awakening all of the earth, and there's a special anointing on New England, and a special anointing on Connecticut. And so those of us at the Firehouse School of Supernatural Ministry, those of us who serve at the school, we know that this is such an important season for us to be equipping revivalists and empowering just normal ordinary believers into the power of God into the giftings that is is within each one of us that is very deep that needs to be unlocked and so it's our season to help revivalists all over Connecticut to pour into the kingdom and to be released into the season. You know, I've been talking with students for the last few months, people that have been signing up for the School of Supernatural Ministry. And um, some of the stories just blow me away. Just the hunger and the desire in people's lives to see the kingdom with their own eyes, to see God do the miraculous through their own hands. I was speaking with a young man recently and he was telling me that for the next eight months, he's going to be rather spending his money on coming to the school than going to restaurants, buying fast food, buying coffee because the hunger within him is so much stronger for the kingdom than it is for natural food. And you know, um, there are there leaders um, that came to school in the past few years and, and um, leaders that are coming even into this year that are already signed up. These are people that lead their own ministries, that lead congregations. And yet as leaders, they're humbling themselves to become students again because they want their eyes to see what has been prophesied over the region. They want their eyes to see what has been prayed for for generations for New England. And so they're humbling themselves to be students again. And it just blows my mind. You know, one of the things that really cracks me up and just, I mean, I just, I'm just so tickled and blessed by people who will travel long distances. I hate traveling long distances, but there are students last year that came so far. I would say at least maybe 30 to 40% of our students traveled over an hour, maybe more last year to get to class two evenings a week. And this year we have students that are positioning themselves to travel again because the hunger that they have for the kingdom is is bigger than anything else and they have no boundaries on their life. Uh, it, travel does not even come into the equation for them and it just blows my mind that there are people like that in this state that just want to see the kingdom come. You know, one of the things that I've learned is that you cannot sow into the kingdom. You cannot sow into your life. You cannot sow into the lives of others. And you cannot sow into history without reaping an incredible harvest. It's impossible to sow and not reap. And do you know that the miraculous needs partnership? See, for the miraculous to operate, there needs to be partnership from earth. It's the time for earth to be connecting with what heaven is doing, partnering with what God is doing on the earth so that we can see the kingdom come the way Jesus promised the kingdom would come. And so guys, I encourage you to look into the Firehouse School of Supernatural Ministry. It is July 30th right now. We have two more weeks to sign students up.